your science video for the week and it's going to be really useful when you come to do some writing um, with Mr Padden on Zoom. So today we are looking at the three different types of rock and hopefully you had a chance of looking at the video which tells us all about the three different types. So we've got sedimentary, metamorphic and igneous. So the first thing we're going to make today with edible things is the sedimentary rock. So sedimentary rocks are made by sand and eroded bits of rock, so really really fine bits of rock flowing from perhaps buildings, houses, into a river, from the river into the sea and then they drop to the bottom of the sea. So the first thing you need is, I've got blue fondant icing, okay now you could make this um, you could use play-doh or salt dough, but remember you can't eat that, but fondant icing you can eat. So I've got blue fondant icing and this is going to be my seabed. And I need a cup, a transparent one, so that you can see through it. And I'm going to put it, although I might have to squeeze it out a bit more, so I'm going to mould it so that it's just a flat seabed and drop it into the bottom, bottom of my cup. So we've got our seabed. Then I have got three, I've got three different types of biscuit, but I have bashed them so that some are really fine, some are less fine, and some are a bit more chunky. Okay, and I'm gonna just start pouring them layer by layer. And hopefully we'll see the different layers of sediment as we start to build our sedimentary rock. But one thing we do know is that fossils are only formed in sedimentary rock. So I've got marshmallows and I've got hundreds of thousands, but I'm just going to put another layer on top of this fossil. So pretend this is a dinosaur that has died millions of years ago. We're going to pour some more rock on top. Now a different dinosaur has died and we're going to use hundreds of thousands this time to represent the fossils, then another layer, and one more layer. And then we have made a sedimentary rock. So after years and years and years have passed, they will push down on each other and for create lots of pressure so that the layers will squish towards each other and you'll be able to see like on the board lots and lots and lots and lots of layers in the rock okay so that's task number one make a sedimentary rock task number two is to make a metamorphic rock so for this you're going to need three different colors of fondant icing or you could use play-doh or you could make some um, salt dough and colour it okay but you need some different colours it doesn't matter what colour but different colours is really useful and metamorphic rocks are made by intense pressure and heat being nearby so to represent this the palm of my hand is warm and I can use my fist to create pressure so I'm just going to put them together put it into the palm of my hand and squish really hard and keep moving it from hand to hand to warm it up like this and then eventually we should have some layers so imagine if this was a rock being formed perhaps there's some magma underground that is near to the rock and they're pushing on top of each other and eventually you create a metamorphic rock and as you can see the different layers okay and stay tuned for part two for the last rock
should have m melted your chocolate marshmallows and biscuits and put them in the microwave only for about 30 seconds not too much because you don't want to burn them and then you're going to have to mix it but be really careful because they do get really really hot and then what you've got to do is mold it into an igneous rock okay so this represents the magma and lava cooling and creating an igneous rock so your three rocks today was and your task make a sedimentary rock okay out of the different layers of biscuits make a metamorphic rock out of three different colors using heat from your palms and pressure from your hands make a metamorphic rock and then lastly your igneous rock so marshmallows biscuits and chocolate and as always, send the pictures of the rocks you make. And if you don't have these things at home, don't feel like you have to go and buy all of the things. Be creative and try and find something else to use. But send them to us and we hope you enjoy. Bye.